Jerusalem by William Blake, written in 1808. And did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountains green? And was the holy Lamb of God on England's pleasant pastures seen? And did the countenance divine shine forth upon our clouded hills? And was Jerusalem builded here among these dark satanic mills? Bring me my bow of burning gold bring me my arrows of desire bring me my spear o clouds unfold bring me my chariot of fire i will not cease from mental fight nor shall my sword sleep in my hand till we have built jerusalem in england's green and pleasant land okay this originally was a poem written by william blake the reason I've sung it is because today, most commonly, this is known as uh, the hymn, and it's sung like that. The, the This poem was originally put to music, I think, in 1906, so about a hundred years later. Um, this is a very, very British anthem. They, for example, they sing this song at rugby matches and things like that. This is it's an anthem of England. Well, so what? what is this about? Okay, this is a criticism of the Industrial Revolution. This is a, a desire to go back to a simpler life, a life where um, uh, life is simple, there, everything is green, we don't, we're not in a, an, an ever, incre ever, ever more industrialised uh, world. And William Blake, he was a, 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 a very, very anti the Industrial Revolution. He was very in favour of the French Revolution, although I think he was probably a pacifist as well. Um, He's a, a, a social reformer, and I think you'd probably call him a revolutionary of the time as well. Let's see, the poem itself is mm, harking back to uh, a time when uh, he wonders if in the ancient past that Jesus actually walked in uh, on, on in the English countryside, if he actually came to England, um, there was a fanciful belief that this happened. Uh, the, 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 I think during the Middle Ages, they, they the, 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 it was one of the ideas they came up with, and he's mm, mm, what, hoping that a new Jerusalem will be built in. In England, let's see. In in Revelation, in the Bible, the world is destroyed, and then Jesus or God builds a new Jerusalem. And what he wants to do is to build a new Jerusalem in England. Um, here, Jerusalem is a metaphor for heaven. Okay, so let's go through it. It's not. The, it, it's really quite simple, though. Let's see. And did those feet in ancient times walk upon England's mountains green? There's no question mark here, but I think this he's questioning, saying he's wondering if one, once upon a time those feet, the feet of Jesus, um, walked 
in, in England. Yeah, went went through England. And was the Holy Lamb of God. So the Lamb of God, this refers to Jesus as well, the sacrificial lamb. On England's pleasant pastures seen. So was Jesus seen in England's fields? And did the countenance divine shine forth upon our clouded hills? So the countenance is the face and the countenance divine. This is the look of God or God looking at uh, us, the holy face. And did it shine forth, did it shine on the cloudy hills of England? And was Jerusalem builded here among these dark satanic mills? So here I think Jerusalem, heaven. Yeah, was was there was there uh, and was heaven here uh, once in this place a, a a simple life among these dark satanic mills and this this little bit is the key to it here a mill talks about a factory yeah and dark satanic mills belonging to the devil so the factories or the industrialization of the devil. And at William Blake's uh, time, um, the factories were starting to appear. They were increasing child labor. There was um, smoke uh, from coal everywhere. And um, he's calling these things evil. And this is his call to go back to a time where um, life was simpler, where we lived a primitive, a primitive existence. Bring me my bow of burning gold. Bring me my arrows of desire. Bring me my spear, O clouds unfold. Bring me my chariot of fire. So here he's now invoking the, I think, the Greek gods. And he's, he, he's asking for the power of the Greek gods or the for the gods uh the old gods to come down and to destroy this these satanic mills yeah to change the situation yeah um and let's see a bow of burning gold yeah the 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 archer who is this i think uh, is this artemis the archer yeah um so a bow of burning gold and arrows of desire so desire give give me the strength the motivation to get rid of these dark satanic mills um bring me my spear yeah <laughs> Uh, o clouds unfold. So he wants the clouds to open and the the Greek gods to come down, or at least for them to send him the power to do this. Bring me my chariot of fire. So chariot of fire. I think this is probably where the uh, uh, phrase chariots of fire comes from from the film. Um, this is the the divine fire, the fire of God. Yeah. Um, and I think with, with this, it could, the the, uh, the satanic mills could be burned down. Now, I will not cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand. So notice, he's talking about mental fight. He's not talking about killing people a la French Revolution. He's talking about a peaceful Gandhi-esque um, revolution where um, he can get rid of this industrialization but without mass murders and things like that. And he says, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand, so I will always fight uh, for this um, to... Uh, to bring a new Jerusalem to England, yeah, to bring heaven back to England, to bring us back to this primitive, simple time, till we have built Jerusalem, till we have put heaven again in England's green and pleasant lands. So he's, he wants to replace the dark satanic mills with a new, the new Jerusalem, with a new heaven. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, 
give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Jerusalem by William Blake